Hello everybody, it's Kevin BTM. Welcome to Let's Try Master Reboot, the third game in my Let's Try week. Hoping you enjoyed the last two. Uh, I certainly enjoyed the last one, which was uh, One Finger Death Punch, if you remember. I actually decided partway through the recording that I was going to be my fifth Let's Play. Uh, perhaps this game will impress me enough to become a future Let's Play, though. I find that unlikely, not in that it won't um, impress me, but in that it has horror elements. So I'm not sure how far through this game I'm going to get, but... Um, Anyway, it certainly seems interesting. It's powered by Unreal. Oh. Yeah, though obviously not all the art is uh, amazing. <laughs> so uh, I think it's clear that some shit has gone down. Um, a part of this I'm assuming is that we're going to have to piece it together and figure out what exactly that is. Oh shit. <laughs> At the moment, this looks kind of stylized. If not, that just being weird like No, I think it is stylized. Okay. So from what I've seen, the graphics aren't necessarily that amazing, but it's uh, sort of the concept and the story of this game. It's, uh, it's strength. So, um... <clears throat> uh, these look like tickets, or possibly... cards of some... Oh, hello. Your body is a temporary condition. Purgatory is forever. Well, that's a great way to start this. What's over there? Okay, I can jump. What the hell is this? And it... Oh, okay. Hoping this isn't going to be one of those things where the game itself doesn't know what it's talking about. It's just doing random trippy things because... Trippiness is cool, or something like that. Um. Whoa, okay. Where am I going? <laughs> Didn't even get to fully explore that area. Maybe I should have done that first. Okay, note to self, those giant cube things warp you. Alright, so, so now I'm in a forest. Slash tesseract thing, by the way. I'm already. How far away in this direction can I go? Oh, oh, it's like a. Oh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so they want me to go that way. Um, that way. What's that meant? Okay, I can't jump over that. Let's go around, I guess. Can I pick up this as like a torch? No, apparently not. I can't tell if I'm being heard. Um, is this shift? No, control. Uh, I can't tell if I'm being heard. I might need to speak up a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, from what I understand, this game is kind of mystery slash adventure slash horror. Uh, and I don't do well with horror, as I might have mentioned before. Well, there you go. We got a weapon. And it's all digital and shit. Okay. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Okay, maybe... Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Cool. Um... I hear something. That's not good. So it's not really a horror game, it just has some elements that could be considered scary. Why is this part all that, uh, but not the rest of it? Oh no, the whole thing is that. Uh, what the hell is that? Oh, it looks like a Japanese, um... There you go. Like a Japanese shrine. Uh... <laughs> okay. Right, let's head this way. That duck is just there. Oh, uh, I've encountered the, the force field again. I guess this isn't where I'm supposed to go. My jump is weird. When I land, I kind of dip for a bit. I mean, I guess that's kind of realistic, but it's certainly weird. Oh. Oh no, this isn't going to be another one of those horrific <laughs> images. Be fearful, I'm ferocious, I'll show you no mercy. Huh. 
Hmm. Yeah, so far I have to say, um, I'm interested, but I'm not sure if I'm going to play a lot of this. Just going to mention again, in case you haven't watched the rest of this, but you chose to start watching this one for whatever reason, uh, this is, this Let's Try Week is almost entirely, oh, there we go, almost entirely, um, games that I picked up in the Humble Bundle back in August. Uh, you can't actually get them anymore from that particular bundle. Um, however, you can still buy these games, obviously. And if you enjoy them, I thoroughly recommend doing so. Um, because some of them are quite good, and uh, you can get them for fairly cheap, so... Yeah. Um, I'd love to have said I introduced some people to some games they didn't even know they would like. I saw one thing of Death Punch, it looked cool, but I didn't think I would love it as much as I did. Alright, so, we're starting to head up this mountain, well this mountain path anyway. Things are getting a little bit clearer, but um, I'm assuming that's going to be, uh, this is just leading me to a false sense of security. I don't really trust anything when I'm playing this kind of game, though I haven't played many of this kind of game. So I guess I can only, oh, right. So I put the duck there, and it activates this cube. I'm hoping that uh, I can be heard. I don't want to tab out to change my volume in case um, anything happens with that, so I might just have to uh, uh, turn the volume down and speak up <laughs> uh, in editing so that everything balances out correctly. Um, but yeah, okay. So I've been teleported to a new place. Been pretty linear so far, but uh, maybe that's the point. Or maybe that's Maybe the maybe the point isn't to be non-linear. It's just a mystery. Okay, I'm a bit. I'm actually scared right now. Wide open areas. Nothing is scarier than a wide open area. Something's gonna jump out after I go through this door or something, aren't they? Fuck. I don't want to play this anymore. <laughs> you guys might get to see me cry on camera. Well, not cry, but. Fuck! Stop doing that. The sound effect. Jeez. Just zoom in on the TV. <laughs> mystery Foundation. Welcome to the Mystery Foundation. As a new employee, you are now a part of our ever-growing family. So I'm an employee? A family that provides two million users with entertainment, comfort, and happiness every day. A family okay. that is number one in Decade Magazine's most influential companies of all time. A family committed to bringing people together. Okay. But what does mystery actually do? We are proud to introduce to you the Soul Cloud. Right. They upload their memories together with vital personality statistics and traits <laughs> servers. Where our industry This isn't a bad idea uh, in theory. But it's always a bad idea in a video game. <laughs> Some shit's going to go down if if you do this. See Portal 2. That's so just possible in general. All, the deceased's family and friends can visit their soul whenever they like, making death a thing of the past. Okay. But where do you come in? As part of the Soul Cloud's maintenance staff, you'll be working together with Seren, the cloud's innovative security system, to do whatever. Mm -hmm. Sounds amazing. Running of the system. Clearly not going to backfire in any kind of way. Walking Mrs. Smith's digital dog. As a Mystery Foundation employee, you are now a part of our family. Together we can make the impossible possible. Okay. And now the room is dark. And obviously I can't get out. Oh my god, this is awful. Holy fucking shit, what is that? Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh god. Okay, this looks slightly better than that room. Intrusion attack. Jesus Christ! Initiating quarantine. <laughs> Just the sudden sound effect scared the shit out of me. I'm I'm walking without. Okay, okay, I'm running. I'm running. It's just me or is the tunnel getting smaller? <laughs> Holy fucking shit! <sighs> Made me jump. Okay, um... <laughs> I 
Right. <laughs> oh god. Um. There we go. We have to collect ducks, apparently. Or or not. Oh, it's a hand dog. Ducks contain messages from residents or soul Claudians, family and friends, which have been sent from the world of the living. These messages are personal, and employees are reminded they should not be accessed unless they feel that the message contains dangerous materials such as viruses, explicit images, or inappropriate information that may upset the relevant resident. It's that last part that's um, going to be... Uh... Oh, okay, so the blue teleports to another part of the current memory. Green returns to resident's soul village. White is a pure memory container, and red is a maintenance key, but allows interaction with the current memory. Oh, I just got an achievement, induction. So the staff are currently unavailable, which is never a good thing. If the balls are behind the counter, you'll be transported to your registered hub city. Alright then. <laughs> Jesus though, that thing earlier. Oh god, I was hoping that this would be better, but no, it's just as ominous. Let's put it that way. I feel really short. I don't know if it's just me. And it exploded. Interesting. What's this here? Looks like a broken mini cube. Uh, nothing in the others. So all those doors are red. I, I think a couple of them are, still, are green now. This one's just unlit entirely. Whoa. That's, that is pretty cool, I must admit. These effects do look somewhat interesting. Let's try... Nope. Okay. The library. Okay, let's try the library then. Uh, or not. Okay. <laughs> um, graveyard memory. I'm guessing I can't do any of the ones that are up. Circus memory. Well, where do I go then? If I can't access the ones that are lit up, then I can't access the ones that aren't lit up. Oh, hang on. I'm stupid. There's lit up ones. Okay. Park memory. School memory. Street memory. Childhood memory. Uh, that one seems like it's going to be the most horrific, because children in horror games are always uh, terrifying. So, Again, not strictly a horror game, but... Am I... Did I just... Why... Why am I just passing through cars? That's cool. Madison Jones? Is that the uh, founder? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is extremely uh, worrying. All of this is, uh, I guess you could say, a recipe for disaster. So it doesn't really matter if I crash into stuff then. Shit. <laughs> that was very sudden. Though it didn't scare me as much as I thought it would. Uh, Alright, uh, I don't actually know how long I've been going. Probably... I don't know. I'll keep going until I feel like it's... Astrid Patterson. Patterson? Oh god. 
Why did I say that? Patterson. The life of the dead is placed in the memory of the living. Madison Jones. Well, let's try this one. He mentioned Madison Jones earlier. Okay, where am I now? I'm in the car again. Except I'm not driving this time. I'm really confused. What's actually going- I mean, I, I know that's the point, but like, I still I'm confused. Okay, so that's the street now, right? Um, let's try the park memory now. Maybe I'll do these four and then I'll end it off. Oh. Oh god. No. <laughs> no. <sighs> Fucking... No. Is it... Is that a blue duck? Again? Warning times four. So it looks like everything's frosted over. I wonder if that is supposed to mean anything? I'm not sure if all this is just going to be symbolism or if it's going to be sort of, you know, actually helpful in any kind of way. These sound effects though, they're like horrible. Can I crawl underneath this? No. How do I get in there then? can't climb up it. Do I like... I've tried pressing E on it. Nothing happens. There's a triangle up there. Oh god, I can hear children laughing and playing. Why are these textures on the walls so shit? I guess I need to do the monkey bars. There you go. Okay. Um. Oh, I see a thing over there. Probably another horrific image with some philosophical statement. In this dominion, I'm the demonic ruler, all creating, all consuming. You're my helpless toy in this false consciousness. Charming. I see another thing over there. So we have to use all the different... What's this? Okay. Guess we have to... Huh? These are not swings. I can't handle that, apparently. Um... Can I climb the tree? Doesn't look like it. Uh, I literally have no idea what's going on. Oh, hello. Oh, I put the right. Okay. Wouldn't it be better to, yeah, you know, pick this up? Or not, okay. I'm assuming that was the red box. What can I actually do with this? Um... Jesus. Come on. Nope. Uh, what about... Okay, I can't walk, climb up it. Maybe I can walk up it? I can't use it, I don't know why. I can use this thing once I get so I climb over, but that was about it. I'm assuming that there's another of these barriers out. There's just a bench in the middle of I can't zoom in, but I believe that's <laughs> Nope! Staying the fuck away from there. If I can. Oh god, there's no sounds now. Oh my 
God, this is awful. Like, what's with all these triangles? Is it supposed to be Illuminati or what? Okay, I've already seen that one. Jesus. Okay, what do I do with the ball? The horses have red eyes. This is bad. Oh my god. I have no idea what I'm doing. Jesus. Come on! What can I actually do? Can I climb into this? I don't think I can. If I climb up here, can I slide down it? Might be a ter oh, I can throw the ball down there. And it turned into a triangle. Because that makes sense. What happens if I try to use this now? Oh, wait. I can now apparently ride this. I have no idea what's going on. Hang on. This is kind of like an output one. This kind of looks like it could be some kind of circuit. Why are these connected to it? In that way. Am I just seeing something here but there's nothing at all? So do I need to like do it in the right order or something? Well, hang on, hang on. So, this one? This one. Oh, okay. I see. Um... Right, I see. I was trying to climb up on the seesaw to do that. Jeez. That's, uh... <laughs> I guess that works too. Can I handle this yet? No, evidently not. Um... Okay. There's still a couple more I need to get. Considering how long this is taking me, I might uh, just do this one and then leave it off. Because I'm thoroughly freaked out as it is. Oh, hello. It's another blue duck. Okay. Cali plus Madison plus Astrid. 2000, July 15th, 2006. Okay, so two of those people are now dead at least. Uh, so the last two are up there and up there. I have no idea how to get to either of them. I'm hoping the solution doesn't involve leaving the park area again. But, um, I know that that's somewhat likely. Oh, God. Okay, I'm approaching the little girl. This is a terrible... I can't approach her anyway, it's fine. <laughs> no, I just couldn't think of anything else to do, so... <laughs> Um, jeez. Hmm. Oh wait, hang on, there's also one here, I forgot about this one. I can't actually get to it by crouching or anything like that. Let's see, what have I interacted with? I've interacted, well I haven't interacted with this. But I've done the horses one. I've done, which interacted with the seesaw. I've done the slide one. I've done the monkey bars one. I haven't done this slide one. I can't actually use it apparently. I've already done that. There's a handle here, but I can't do anything with it. These don't seem to be interactable. Um, they look like they're supposed to be swings, but like without the swing part. I don't want to just end it off all confused and shit, but I don't know if I had that much time before I'm supposed to go down for something. Um, so, have I seen this one? Yeah, I have. For, for warning and then 
to four hourglasses. Oh, I didn't see this one. See you tomorrow, lovely. Night, night. Bro, you're waiting in the park, right? Over by the swings. Lol, I see you. <laughs> I can't use it, and I don't know why. <laughs> I'm utterly clueless right now. I'm trying to figure out if there's any buttons that do anything other than the ones I've been using. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh! Well that's something. I didn't see that. That will probably help me get the green one. Oh right, I can't use it because it didn't have the wheel on the end. Right. I'm really not looking good en well enough then, I guess. Um, let's try this then. I'm either blue or like really pale. Oh. Since when do swings work like that? Damn. Cutscene showing it going in the thing, yeah. Can we use this one to get to the blue one? No. Um, the blue one either has something to do with the slide or... Again, I can't use the slide for some reason. I wonder where that is. Let me look around this area a bit more. Oh, well, there's something. Uh, let me try using that with a bunch of stuff. It probably is just that I haven't looked in this area well enough. So scared of the little girl. I didn't. I didn't mean that in a mocking tone. Like I'm not scared of her still, because <laughs> I totally am. But um, at the least, it looks like she hasn't done anything yet. So she's the laughing or being laughed at. I see something up there. Oh, is this what's supposed? To oh. What the fuck? Literally. LITERALLY! What the hell? I saw that! I'm not crazy! There's like one more, right? All the music is cut out, it's freaking me out. Don't do that. Don't do that, game. Oh my god. The blue one is... Fuck. Okay, no, blue one's still there. For a second I thought that, like, it had been stolen by whatever that creature was, and I was like, oh shit. Unless, of course, that's just a little girl again. These sounds! They always feel like they're building up when they're not necessarily building up. I swear I fucking saw something, like, swoosh by there, though. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, this definitely is the one I'm going to be playing uh, that much more of, at least without somebody there. Maybe if I get popular enough, I'll do it as a Halloween thing one day. And it looks like I found the solution. It's a blue board. Must have been like a missing board on here or something. Oh, right, I see. Yeah, they are a little bit weirdly spaced. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay. So now I'm totally going to get murdered by the little girl or something, or just jump scared or something, I don't know. <laughs> okay. So let's head over to this roundabout then, and probably shit myself. Oh, it floats. Oh right, yeah, of course, because this cube's up here, that makes sense. There was a jump scare in the last one though, to an ex a little bit, somewhat. The girl jumping on the car was slightly frightening. So I wouldn't be surprised if there was something here. Well, maybe not. Oh, this is taking me to somewhere different, so... Alright, I'll complete this area. Mm. And then, um... 
and then I'll end the video off. Uh, there's going to be something awful at the top of this. Wait, what? What is this? What's going on? What is this thing? Can I climb up it? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there's something over here though. There's another one over here. I wonder if this is supposed to mean anything. I mean, it totally is, but... Uh... We've gone back to the command prompt, I guess. The hell? Did I die? Okay, well I'm not gonna stay here and find out. This has been uh, Let's Try Master Reboot, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> oh my god!